You've arrived on Drummond Carlos. Marvelous. Let's get right to work. Secrecy is vital, so I've secured us a nice, out-of-the-way spot for the ritual. Meet me in the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple, where you pacify the apparition, and we can begin. I trust you've made all the necessary preparations. Indeed. All I need are the artifacts themselves, and of course, you. Then we can begin. But there is one thing. Given the sensitive nature of this ritual, I would ask that you not bring your pirate companion. Your Dechard is fine, desirable even, given the sensitive nature of your bond to him. I understand completely. Good. Now hurry and meet me in the Dark Temple. The sooner you arrive, the sooner we can begin. Such marvelous power radiates from you now. Clear strong, you have truly come into your own. You possess great power, certainly, but the teachings of Korriban seem to have had scant influence on you. How many times did you have the option to expand your power and yet stayed your hand? Do you really know what it means to be Sith? A Sith follows her heart. Yes, there is only passion. But do not forget, through passion I gain strength. Through strength, power. Passion is the method. Power, the end. I've arranged for you to receive the title of Lord of the Sith. I hope you realize what an honor and responsibility it is. As a Darth, I answer only to Darth Anaton, who answers to the Dark Council. As a Lord, you're only one step below that, and you tower above many. I hope I live up to the honor. You've already exceeded my greatest hopes and expectations, but I'm getting ahead of myself. There is still the ritual to undergo, and I'll warn you, the ritual may prove a trying experience, but once it's done, you will be truly great, truly powerful. You still haven't told me what the ritual does. All in good time, Apprentice. First, there is something more pressing. The truth is, I have not been completely honest with you. I wish I could have been, but the timing was not right. Look at me, Apprentice. I am sorry to have concealed it from you for so long, but it was such a pleasant vanity to share in your youth. You're most welcome. Listen, Apprentice. Various Force rituals have helped me maintain my appearance and some of my vitality. But inevitably, life fades. I'm dying, Apprentice. My will, my intellect, my spirit are as lively as ever. But this body is dying. Is there nothing I can do to help? You've already done more than you realize, Apprentice. You will allow me to live on. Be prepared. As the ritual ends, you will likely see me collapse before you feel it taking effect. Do not panic. Know that this is what I have trained you for, primed you for, from the start. This doesn't sound promising. Don't worry. I imagine it will be just like falling asleep. We will accomplish so much once I am in command of that wonderful vessel of yours. Just hold still. You can't stop this ritual from happening.
to learn that ritual. That monster broke through my defenses, interrupted my concentration, and diverted the entire ritual. Five years of preparation, finding the right person, training them, researching the artifacts, gathering them, wasted! You were my legacy, my one chance to defeat death! You fool! You have ruined everything! Go away and give me Kem back. No, apprentice. It looks like you're stuck with me now. But I wonder how powerful your friend Kem was. Powerful enough to punish you for your rebellion. This doesn't need to end in violence. What is this? Why can't I hurt you? That bond! That damn bond! How can your will be stronger than my own? I am the master, not you! I'm not any happier about it than you are. Pataya gila senaim. Anabidupi pi pukdu gas fantan. Swai wai silbans in iswish paman ik alkas jam guidis in tis iswares. Is that you, my morose monster? Un swai kan pose warp warp by nupai in zats jains wans jan. Mat in sok ja iman kudana ja ayun pro kumana. It seems Zash went into your body. But you didn't leave. Mun's Kasai. Protest all you like, Ken Vol, servant of Tunacord, but your ancient master's artifact has been turned against you. And through some strange and miraculous trick, neither you nor Zash have full control. That sounds pretty complicated and unlikely. The Dashard was not part of Zash's plan. Perhaps his innate resistance to the Force impacted things. Flesh of my flesh, you have defeated your master. The great danger that I feared is past. Your rise to glory complete. I don't know whether we will chance to meet again on this side of death, but I am at peace. I came to say goodbye and good luck. I'll see you around then. You are Lord Kalik now. It was once a glorious name. Use it well. I'm telling you, Corrin, Zash is not all there. All this talk about dreams, it's nonsense. No, Carl. I saw Zash enter, and we both saw her first apprentice go in later. If I went around expecting everything I dreamt to come true, I... Look, Carl. Darth Zash, you, you murdered her. I'll finish you off just as easily. Hold your weapon, Carl. This is not what Zash wanted. My lord, we have not met, but Carl and I are Zash's newest apprentices. She honored us by telling us about a prophecy, a dream she had. One that has now been fulfilled by you. Oh, I know all about her dreams. Darth Zash dreamt that her strongest apprentice would eventually rise to destroy her. But she also foresaw that the same apprentice would rise to bring new glory and strength to a fragmented Sith Order. She went knowingly to her death at your hand, so that you could lead the Sith to glory. Believe me. Zash only thought of herself. How strange. Darth Zash only ever had words of praise for you. 
We have been anticipating this day since Zash first leaked the rumors of your incredible triumph over Darth Scotia. Zash answered to Darth Thanaton on the Dark Council. He'll want to speak to you, but we are your servants. Cam, will you do the honors? Afgudan heifst, but I guibanist, ni fragiles fraujan, kupinana.